Howdy there, lady gents and gentle berries. I'm Quinn of Snazzy Labs, and today is an amazingly important day for those of us that are Apple fans. OS X Yosemite and iOS 8 were both announced in the WWDC keynote this morning by the Apple executives. And not only that, but there's actually a developer preview available. I am a registered developer for the Mac and the iPhone, and so I have the both operating systems respectively on my devices. I'm running Yosemite on my MacBook Air, and I'm running iOS 8 on my iPad mini. Now those devices are not my primary devices, which is why I've installed them. Alphas and betas always have problems, they have bugs, they have errors, and so I refuse to even touch uh, my computers that I use with frequency with this beta software. So the Mac Pro that's sitting right here in my office was feeling a little bit lonely. Furthermore, after using all day the new operating systems and being oogled by the beautiful icons and interface that exists on Yosemite, I went back to my Mac Pro Maverick based machine and thought, Ugh, this looks awfully disgusting and boring. So what I've done is I've given my Mac Pro a little bit of a makeover using the new, well, it's it's still running uh, as a matter of fact, uh, OS 10.9.3. So I'm gonna show you how to customize your Mac a little bit to get this uh, kind of feel. In the bottom box below, there is a link to download this folder. It's called Icon Package. It'll actually come in a zip file and you'll be able to unzip it and you'll find this folder inside. There are a variety of different things that you'll need to do. The first and foremost is change the image on your background. So you can do this very easily by going into System Preferences, Desktop and Screensaver, and simply dragging this file on top of your existing screensaver and you will get this new Yosemite background. Next, you're going to need to change the icons and the system icons. Now, this is going to require an app that's called Light Icon. Um, when you, you open it, it says that this system is not supported. Change icons at your own risk. Now, although 10.9.3 uh, is not officially supported, it does still work. So if you're running Mavericks, you are good to go by using this application. If you're not running Mavericks, if you're still on Mountain Lion, please upgrade because you will not be able to make these changes. So what you need to do is go into first the app icons folder. Then you're going to go down to the applications area on your computer. You will find these uh, icons that are from the Mac OS Yosemite version. They're down here in my dock, and I also have these folders already installed, which is, is pretty darn cool. I'll show you right here. Um, I mean, the, the system folders are already changed up. It's, it's a really pretty change. So all you have to do is, is find the existing apps on your uh, I, excuse me, on your Mac and change with these, these icons here. You just have to drag and drop on top of the ones that you want to change. So calendar, calculator, just go through the list until you've finished all of them. Now keep in mind there are many icons that have not been updated yet. As they are updated in future betas, I will upgrade and update this folder. But for now, this is what there is. So go through and change all of the icons that to this point you are able to change. Then you're going to go into the systems icon section, the folder section. You are going to uh, go into the systems icon folder inside the folder that you downloaded and then go into the folder section and all of these icons that you need to change are here. You can know which one is which by the burnable folder icon and the burnable icon right here. The icons are quite different, but they do have the same symbols and all that stuff. So it should be pretty easy to just drag and drop on top of what you already have. The same goes for uh, others. If you find others right here, you will do the drag and drop over the generic app icon, the alias badge, and the read only badge. And last but not least, you'll go into the dock to change the finder icon, the trash empty, and the trash full icon. This is the most beautiful full trash can I've ever seen. <laughs> and so once you've done that, you are able to apply the changes. Press apply changes, and you will be notified that a cleaning of the cache and a logout is required. Please do so, and you will see that by entering your system once again, you have the new icons in your operating system. And the only thing that you don't have, because you already have the wallpaper and the icons, is this cool looking dock that Apple has changed quite a bit in this iteration. All you have to do is open this app called C-Dock. This only works with uh, Mavericks 10.9.3, so please use it um, with the latest version of Mavericks. You are going to go to install pre-made dock and then press OK. You will be prompted which one to choose and really you can choose whichever one you want but the closest to what Mavericks is, excuse me, the closest to what uh, Yosemite is using is gray. So you're going to press gray and then open and then your dock will open once again with this new dock 
uh, which is pretty much, it's not exactly the same as, as Yosemite, but it's pretty darn close. And by doing these three things, by changing the wallpaper, by changing the app icons, as well as the system icons, and by changing the dock, you get a pretty darn close simulation to what is OS X Yosemite. No, it's not exactly the same. And yes, Yosemite is much prettier, but this will at least hold you over for the next couple of months until the operating system is publicly available. If you liked this video, if it helped you, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends and people, ladies on Twitter, on Facebook, on whatever social network you may use. You may also send physical mail to your friends notifying of this video, but I wouldn't recommend it because postage is now 38 cents a stamp. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe, rate, and comment. And as always, Stay snazzy. See you later, folks.